Hello and welcome back to Bee Monster Laboratory. Today we're going to do a review of Ninja Bots. I have a two pack. I have Red Dragon and Black Tiger. They are hilarious battling robots. And they have six weapons and over a hundred movements and sounds. You're going to want to check this one out. And it came with uh, two ninja bots. It's got six weapons. There are two hammers. There's a spatula, a tennis racket, and then two permanent weapons, which one is uh, nunchucks and the other one is a, looks like a stick with a boot on it, <laughs> which is kind of funny. It also came with these training targets. It came with two, one with a black tiger and a red dragon. It also comes with two shields and it came with an instruction booklet. And if you just want to get started really quick with two player action, Came with a quick start guide. Let's check these guys out. The battery compartment is located on the bottom for both of them. They're gonna take three AAA batteries and uh, very simple to install. You're gonna need a small Phillips head screwdriver or flathead screwdriver to get in there. So keep that in mind. After installing the batteries, you wanna to switch to your preferred language, either English, French, or Spanish. And you do that by switching the power switch and you're gonna move that to the middle. So there's English, French, and Spanish. English selected. And if you don't press for three seconds, it selects that language. And if you want to power on your robot again, all you do is uh, slide the switch all the way to the far right, and it will automatically select the language that you previously selected. Now both robots come with a sticker over the eyes, so don't forget to peel those off before you start playing with it. Now the shield is actually part of the packing material that you'll pull out of the box and it has the lines, the dotted lines on it. Just cut those off. It's a trifold shield that you'll place your robot on the other side of it so it doesn't interact with the robots before they're ready to battle. Your training target is very easy to assemble. It comes in two pieces. You've got your plastic piece and you can put that on the tip of your finger. But you just slide the target piece right in there and then you can put that right in front of the sensor of the robot and it'll attack it. So the weapon in the left hand of your ninja bot is permanent, but the weapon in the right hand can be replaced. You're supposed to do it gently, and once it, uh, it receives a new weapon, you'll hear a sound effect, and that's how you know that it's been properly installed. But I gotta tell you, this thing, uh, it's kind of difficult to remove the weapon. The black weapon is easy to remove, but this one is a little harder, a little more difficult to do. Now the button on top of the head is your mode select. If you want to select training mode, just tap it once. If you want to do one player mode, you tap it twice. And then two player mode, you tap it three times. Or you can hold it for two seconds and it will skip straight to two player mode. The collar of the eyes is going to reflect your belt level. Now there are four different belt levels. There's a white, a yellow, a red, and a black, with black being the highest. And as you progress through the belt levels, it allows you to do more battle styles. At this point, I have to say, a lot of the battle styles do seem very similar. So, for instance, you've got Crouching Rooster, and then the next level you have Spinning Rooster, and Spinning Rooster is just Crouching Rooster, only he turns. And then you've got Turbo Rooster, which is a fast Crouching Rooster. So, uh, they're all very, very similar. Tiger Claw. All right, Tiger Claw. And when you go into training mode, you're going to use three different hand movements to train your, your bot. 
and that'll be a chop, which is straight down. You'll do a swipe, which is just swipe from side to side in front of the sensor, or you'll do a push, so you just uh, slowly push back against your robot. I couldn't get that one to work. I don't, maybe it's me, I don't know. Now to select one player mode, you're gonna tap the button on top of the head twice, and then make chopping motions in front of the IR sensor to select what battle style you wanna use. Alrighty. Tiger Claw. Let's see it. You can also place other objects in front of the IR sensor and watch the bot attack that as well. <laughs> For two player modes, you want to set the ninja bots facing each other. Then you want to place one of the one of the trifold shields in front of your ninja bot so that it won't interact with the other one. Then you want to turn your bot on by pressing this button three times to cycle to the two player mode. And then use the hand chopping motion to select what fighting style you want to use when it's time to fight the other bot. Hey, let's do Turbo Rooster. Oh, Thunder Tiger. Why not? You ready? Yeah. Red one's not really swinging. Oh, oh he knocked me down. <laughs> yeah. All right, rematch. All right, here. All right, rematch. Chop. Turbo Rooster. All right, let's do Turbo Rooster. You ready? All right. Red one will win this time. No? Oh. Okay, 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 okay. He doesn't spin all the way. <laughs> when the one falls down, the other one will do a victory dance. But sometimes the winner doesn't realize that the other one has fallen down. And when that happens, you can just press the button on top of the head and then he'll do a victory dance. The more I used red, the more I noticed that he wasn't responding like the other one. He would stop attacking but still make the noises and he'd also occasionally shut off randomly. It shut off. Yep. All right, I'm gonna change the batteries. This is crazy.
Okay. Is that it? Where'd you go? You can't go to sleep. Serious? He's still on. Despite a few flaws in the red one, uh, we really liked it overall. We wish that uh, you could do more to customize it and make it your own. Whether that means buying extra weapons or even skins for your robot, that would be pretty cool. Also, if you could add your own coating, like scratch coating or something, something to keep it fresh and entertaining and allow you to customize it, like I said, make it your own. Well, that's all I've got for today. If you have ninja bots, let me know what you think about them. Also, let me know what you think about the video in the comments below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And until next time, stay safe. I'll see you soon.